I'm a former Royal Air Force Police Officer. Uh, I served 16 years and was medically discharged because I have a aggressive brain tumour which means that someday in the not too distant future I am going to die. My life changed um, incredibly on the 11th of November 2004 which was Remembrance Day. That evening I was at home at my mother's, I went to bed and then I woke up around about three o'clock in the morning with two paramedics standing over me. They told me that, that I'd had a seizure. I had dislocated both my shoulders. I'd also partially chewed off my tongue. But the most shocking thing was that I had broken my back in three places. The injuries were comparable to a fighter pilot who'd ejected and had crushed his own spine with the G-forces. I lost an inch in height. I went for my scan and it turned out that it was a oligodendroglioma which is a big word for brain tumour. I went to Headley Court, but while I was there I met a social worker who I think realised that had I just left the RAF I would be in trouble uh, both financially and with somewhere to go. I'd probably have ended up homeless. Um, and she sent my case to the RAF Benevolent Fund and they provided me a home, this home. I don't know how to say how wonderful that is. Sorry. I'm so happy that they, they, they saved me, really. Jim's my everything, really. Um, without the RF Benevolent Fund, um, times for us would be much tougher than they are. After everything that's happened, I find myself being able to make pots, so that I'm now making and selling pots overseas uh, in Japan and Belgium. I've had an exhibition in Belgium um, and I've been published in two books. Although all of my work has this eroded surface because time has played its part, they're all useful in some way. And the most important part of that inspiration is about me because I still have a use, even if it's just holding my little girl's hand when we go to the shops, even though I'm a bit eroded. I am enjoying life and I'm comfortable and every day includes pain, every day, every day includes medicine, every day and every day is one less day. But none of it matters because I'm happy because I have my gorgeous, beautiful Sarah, <laughs> my children. God look at me, I'm crying and I'm saying I'm happy. It is because I'm happy and none of it would have happened without the Royal Air Force Benevolent Fund.